the folks who have come down from Pennsylvania. They are marching to Washington. Please welcome Ivanka Kolchiskic, Amy Fitzpatrick, Antoinette Krause, Athena Ford, Bill West, and Dave Neinhauser. Um, it's been emotional. It's been fabulous. It's been educational. Um, walking with great people. Um, it's been a challenge. Um, blistered feet and tired bones, and it's all worth it, absolutely. It's been phenomenal. Meeting up at rallies such as this really um, helps a um, great deal to be supported and encouraged and to see these people here who are on the same page as all of us. There are tens of millions of people without insurance in the country. There are even more people who are underinsured, who are basically at risk of losing their insurance any minute. And it could happen to any of us, and we can't turn our backs on these people. And we, as physicians, are fighting for healthcare reform that will bring that extend coverage to everybody. We cannot set back and think it's okay. Because they have gone on, this has been going on for years, and this country should not allow it. They talk about justice for all. This is not justice. It's time we stand up, folks, and we really keep marching ahead, and we keep in front of our politicians' face until they realize that it is time for change and health care is needed today. To enact health care reform, I think we have to bear in mind some of the things that Dr. King said. Number one, we have to act in the present, but with our eye always on the future. That is the problem in our political life today. No one has their eye on the future, how we will be regarded down the road. A people with access to no contemporary and conventional levers of power shifted the fundamental power relations of the whole country with a movement that was based on refusing not to hope in the face of the impossible. That is a remarkable example that we have to bear in mind. Nobody listens to the silent majority. You've got to speak up and you've got to show up before your elected officials will pay attention to you. You need to contact your elected officials, your, house, your member of the House of Representatives, your senators, and tell them that we need to get the job done.